Couldn't have been easier. Not bad at all, kid. You really stepped up your game. These were just small fry. You haven't even seen how much I can take yet. Well, having you here was a big help anyway. If I'd been alone, this job may have taken me all day. I didn't actually expect you to come all the way out here just to help me with a little monster extermination request like this. So, something about the job piqued your interest? Well, I was in the area visiting my mom's grave anyway. So long as I'm on break from school, I may as well put my time to good use. Sorry, I didn't know your mother was... Don't drag down the mood just because you feel like it. Besides, the war's all finished, so for now I'm just going around and... Oh shit. I've started acting like a bracer just to kill time, haven't I? Acting like a bracer, hmm? Well, you've got all the right skills for it, so I'd be lying if I said I hadn't been trying to scout you out. Take your time and maybe give it thought for now, yeah? You've still got another year until graduation. I don't know, man. This is just something I'm doing in my free time. Nothing more. Your work doesn't so bad sound too bad, doesn't it? Does it? You got something to say? Yeah, uh, not really. Just enjoying a good laugh over here. Can't believe you of all people ended up as one of those damn allies of justice. Look, I'm not particularly planning on becoming a bracer. No shit. All you can think about is finding a place to run away to. Hell, he got that invite to join Zephyr not long ago. What would what would have been wrong with taking up their offer? I still had unfinished business back then. Oh, so you've got none now? Everything's been cleaned up, wrapped in a wrapped in a nice little bow, and supped under the rug, hasn't it? Including all the shit you did. And the same old bastard you tried to kill told the whole damn country that the report about you assassinating the emperor was false. This is some punk can go on living his school life? Sorry. How can you not laugh at that shit? It's not a false report. You literally shot the guy. I know. I was never forced to actually take responsibility for my actions. And as long as you are inside of me, I have no right to be there alongside them. <laughs> That's damn right, Ash Carbide. It's because I understand that, that... Well, I'm sorry, Schwarzer, everyone. At the end of this month, I'm leaving the branch campus for good. Episode, Thor's Branch Campus Scholastic Festival. Two days later. Jeez, I just got back to leaves and I already got to deal with the school assembly. Apparently, Principal Aurelia has an announcement for us. Oh, could it be at that one thing? It could be more specific, you know. I believe your teachers all informed you yesterday, but today I'd like to make a formal announcement. Thor's Branch Campus Scholastic Festival will be held next week. Huh? Surely you've all heard of the main campus's Academy Festival. This event shall be similar to that, though we'll only have a short period to prepare for it, and the format should be will be a bit unique, given it's the first year. In truth, I hadn't actually intended to hold a festival during the first year of the school's founding, but the circumstances have changed. Despite only a year having passed since all of you enrolled, I can see the looks on each of you, your faces have changed. 
Naturally, you're all still young, but you're no longer fight flightless little chicks either, are you? Thinking of the how this branch camps began as little more than a stone that had been cast aside, it's no small feat that we've made it through so many field exercises and endured times of war. Even to the outside, it's now clear that our value isn't vastly different from the main campuses. Be proud of what we've achieved. Thanks to your accomplishments, the applications for new students have been flooding in. So rejoice. Soon, all of you will be upperclassmen to the next generation of students. Upperclassmen. If nothing else, that sounds like it should be fun. And therefore, I've decided to hold the Scholastic Festival. We'll be open to the public for the day of the festival. We'll have not just normal guests, but prospective students as well. This festival shall serve as our stage from which to tell them just what sort of school we are. Likewise, they'll see sorts of upperclassmen that they can aim to emulate by coming here. So ensure that you prepare well. You wouldn't want to look awkward and disappoint the next generation, would you? That's all for now. One hour later, in homeroom. The day will be split into two sections, one for the morning and one for the afternoon. During the morning, we'll have public classes. We'll be switching up the curriculum a bit for the demonstration, but you won't have to do anything special to prep for it. Basically, that's half up to the teachers. Well, I'll make sure to live up to all your fangirl's expectations, oh great Ash and Chevalier. Regardless of how Ash wants to put it, we'll make sure not to let you down during the public classes. Exactly as I'd hoped. Oh yeah, and it's not impossible that some of your friends or family will come by and watch, so be prepared for anything. Man, I'm getting nervous just thinking about it. Anyways, after classes end for the day, all of you should go meet up with your clubs and start making preparations. I mentioned it yesterday, but you students will be the main event for the afternoon portion. Each club will be hosting their activities during set blocks of time, so make sure to invite guests for each one. That's also to say, there's no need to set up some special booth or event or anything. Our plan is to basically have your activities go just as they would on a normal day. So it'll be structured in such a way where we'll have ample time to prepare, even with the short notice. So we'll show all of our prospective young students an introduction to both their academics and our club activities. A lovely way to kill two birds with one stone. Consult with the rest of the members of your club to figure out the specifics. We don't have any more class activities planned until then, so you can just focus on your club activities. That's all the information I've got for now. I'll update you guys on our plans for the actual curriculum going forward after the festival. With that, our time's up. Class is over for today. Altina, if you would. Well then, I'm gonna go sort things out with Jessica and Louise. Seems to have to go make arrangements with the other members of the swimming club then. I'll go find wherever Sydney's hiding. Before I go, I leave the executive committee up to you, Ash. Executive what now? The hell are you talking about all of a sudden, Schwarzer? Oh yeah, I haven't actually explained it to you yet, have I? Sorry about that, but I've got to get to a meeting with other instructors right away. Use it if you'd explain things to Ash in my place. Of course. You have my thanks. Yeah, Alright, Muse, what's the deal with this executive committee? Yes, it's something similar. It's something Instructor brought up yesterday in homeroom while you were still on break. I set up an executive committee for the Scholastic Festival meant to help all the clubs make their preparations and make sure everything goes smoothly on the day of. We were told that each class had to offer up a student to be a member. And after some deliberation, we decided to recommend you as the representative for Class 7. What the hell? You all just decided to throw up the guy who wasn't there? Well, each class is supposed to offer up one person and... I get that, but why the hell did you all pick me? Just trying to push all the annoying shit onto someone else? Well, I guess since you weren't there, you just happened to draw the short end of the stick. Anyways, I'll be heading over to the tea ceremonies club to hammer out the details with everyone. I look forward to taking full advantage of your services, Mr. Executive. That was damn little. What the 
hell is an executive committee even supposed to do? Just when I was planning to get out of this place. Hey, Ash, I'm about the Scholastic Festival. Yeah, about that. We need to do something for it as well, don't we? I guess. Then, um, what would you like to do? Don't know. Perhaps we could treat people who want to enjoy a book in quite some... in quiet to some tea. Or oh, maybe some snacks. Whatever works. Well, what do you think, Ash? Yeah, sure. Um, Ash? Yeah? Well, uh... You've been really friendly with Kurt recently. You're starting to act like characters from Dorothy's novels. Maybe. Oh, I mean... Ash? Huh? What's going on? Well, um... I'm sorry, I just... You just seem to wrap up in thought, so I... You know, Ash, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm always here. I don't know if I can actually give you any good advice, but... If I can... If I can, I want to do anything I can to support you. Sorry, I wasn't acting like myself for a moment. Ash? Here we are just wasting our time chatting again. But I d guess I don't mind if things are just like this just a bit longer. Well then, I guess I'll do my job until the end. Did something happen? Oh, this classic festival, of course. Both as a member of this club and of the executive committee. Wait, you're on the executive committee? Yeah, for some reason or another. Could that have been what was troubling you? Yeah, it was. Or at least something like that. Ash, are you really... That's... Mm, I think I've got it. Well then, I'll lend you my aid. I'll definitely be useful, I think. Well, it's just the exec executive committee. I think you're getting too excited. Anyways, let's focus on the literature club's activities for now. If we're doing anything, we're not half-assing it. Let's show the other club who's boss. Yeah, what should we do then? How about we do a showcase to recommend different books? We'll figure out the guest preferences and interests and recommend the book based on that. We can even let them borrow the book from our club's personal stock. I see. It really sounds like just the sort of event the literature club should put on. But it won't be all that interesting if that's all we do. Maybe if there's time for it, we could also do some reading out loud. A group reading? That sounds great. But well, who's actually going to read it aloud? I mean, do we have anyone here but you? Wait, me? I couldn't possibly, reading in front of a big crowd like that on my own. But if you'd at least... But if you'd at least do it with me, then maybe I could... Afterwards, Ash met with the other members of the executive committee, Lenora from class 8 and Stark from class 9. They spent the next few days together tirelessly preparing for the Scholastic Festival. Ash worked with even more vigor and enthusiasm than anyone else, secretly driven by the sole thought, it's all over after this. Thanks to his help, many clubs were able to make their preparations without issue. And finally, the day of the Scholastic Festival arrived. Morning of the festival. Public class is Marian history, and thus Calvert's revolution was successful, and its entire system of government underwent immense changes. If we wish to build more friendly relations with our neighbors in the Republic, it's more important that we try to understand their historic background behind their democratic ideals. It's really him, the Ashen Knight himself. He's more stern than I'd imagined, but he's just as wonderful as I'd dreamed. The students here don't know how good they have it. I knew he was popular, but I guess some people are around, people are more interested in our instructor than in the actual class. Isn't that Kurt guy also kind of a looker? He just radiates nobility. I'm so happy we came here. I don't think you're allowed to talk, Kurt.
Public class fine arts. Hmm. Aren't they playing around too much for a military academy's fine arts class? No, no, don't say that. As true connoisseurs of fine art, let's watch over them with grace. Is that General Aurelia Le Guin? Why is the Golden Rock Shasta here? I knew she was the school's principal, but she a is she actually teaching classes herself? Now let's begin the lecture. Allow me to begin by making it clear that true art knows no social status and acquires no qualifications. Of course, knowledge and understanding have their place in art, but in the end, everything is judged solely by the viewer's interpretation. Surely there's no one here that fails to understand that much, is there? Oh, hmm. Let's go look around somewhere else. Yeah, let's. We've worked hard to arrange today's public classes, so let's have a nice chat with our visitors about the fine arts. Our principal's as effective as ever. I feel bad for them, but I suppose this is what they call reaping what you sow. Public class, sold out training. Man, I came here hoping to get to see the Golden and Rakshasa or the Ashen Chevalier fight. Instead, all we get is some mock battle between the students. What a way to just throw cold water all over my hype. Hey, I'd really like- I really- I'd really wanted to try duking out with Schwarther's new toy. Unfortunately, Instructor can't really expose that thing to the public yet, can he? Well, at least we've got a bit of a crowd here for a little bout. Let's put on a good show for him. Yes, if the two of us are facing off, I intend to go all out regardless of the circumstances. Well then, begin the match. They've gotten very skilled with these now. What the hell? These kids are this talented? They are just students, right? I'm not sure, but I do know I want them in our squad right now. What sort of training made them this strong? I mean, saving the world can do wonders to one's training. These public classes are finally done. I'm way more tired than I would be on a normal day. Yeah, having that many people watching made me hyper aware of everything I did. Oh, you two. Our part of the performance is just beginning. And Ash is going to have it even worse than the rest of us. Whose fault do you think that is? Anyways, I've already put in enough just helping everyone get set up. Don't waste all my hard work now. Yes, understood. Then I suppose all of us should be going to our club rooms. Meanwhile, you'll be going around checking in on all the club activities, right, Ash? Yeah, I need to make sure no problems pop up. It's a pain in the ass, but it's not the most inconvenient thing ever. Yep, yep, and we'll do our best to make sure no problem comes up for you. You guys just focus on your own activities. As insincere as ever. But he wouldn't be the Ash if he wasn't. Alright, let's get going. We're finally at the end. Time to do this right and make sure I don't leave myself with any regrets. Hey. We Ash now. Sonja, <laughs> All right, let's start off by checking out around here. This is stupid campus is way too big and spread out, but I've started to get used to it. All right, so I have to go downstairs. Huh? Who put that box over there? Check out the metal box in the desk by the stairs. When this thing get put here, I'm part of the executive committee and even I didn't know anything about it. They don't trust me with it or something? Please cast your vote for who you support. Huh? Oh, so it's just some ballot box. 
Must be some gimmick Lenora or Stark set up. So I guess I just put in which club has the best activity, yeah? Well, I guess I can come back here later. So I'm assuming mo <laughs> majority of this is just going to be talking um, to all the NPCs and then we can finally do some stuff. Talk to Monk by the door. The branch campus, Scholastic Festival, huh? You guys really went all out to make sure you don't lose to the main campus. After the war, I've gone back to Trista's radio's main office, but it really seems like our leave studio is starting to overtake it as a great spot for gathering news. We've got plenty of plans to really crank up the scale and broadcast our branch campus special all over. This public classes this morning were great and all, but it seems like you guys really put some elbow grease into these club activities. So as a store's alumnus myself, I'll reciprocate your hard work by making sure to capture every moment of them. Yeah, good thing I did this. I didn't do this yesterday. My voice would have probably died out if I did it yesterday. I'm all refreshed now, so we're good to go. Go to the nervous office and talk to the twins. Yo, big sis. Vivi, you came too? Of course, the Branch Campus Scholastic Festival is going to be a great story. Hey sis, wouldn't it be funny if we switch places for the day? You can leave my- you can leave any first aid up to me. No, I wouldn't be. If you actually came here for a great story, then shouldn't you be doing your job? It's fine, I can do what I want. Rex is here working too. Although, well, he is Rex. He's probably just going to be snapping pictures of cute girls all day. You two never change, do you? Looking at my sister, isn't she getting pretty freaking hot? I wonder if she and guys have been doing anything together lately. Oh. This is a great scoop. Ugh, I needed her to tell me everything. Hey Ash, I'm sorry about all the noise. Next year I'll be going back to St. Ursula, but for now I'm going to keep it as the branch campus nurse. If you notice anything that's hurt while you're while doing your rounds, please bring them here. I'll give them a proper checkup. Go across the hall to the library. See him with breast branch cape scroll. Oh, Ash, thank you for working so hard on your patrols. You can say I'm the one working hard, but you're stuck here all alone. Seems you're holding up the fort just fine without me. Yes, I get a bit nervous having to deal with some of the male customers, but I've been able to recommend and talk about a lot of great novels with our female guests. I've even gotten a number of them to consider reading Dorothy's books. Yeah, if you could stop doing that, that'd be great. And yes, oh yes, the room and the must-read corner has been an unexpectedly popular hit. Though they belong to the school, so we can't loan them out. But if anyone's interested in a certain book, we can have Becky put in, in an order for them. I'll have to thank her later. Sounds like our old alumnus is going to be making a killing off our activities. I'm sure she's ecstatic. Well, as long as everything's running well, then I'm fine with it. Yes, sir. I mean, please, rest well knowing everything here is taken care of and focus on your duties for the executive committee. I'll keep supporting you from here. Well, you've still got your own problems to worry about, don't you? You still haven't done the group reading. We haven't, have we? Maybe I should head back to the literature club to practice for it. When it's almost time for the reading, please meet me there. Fine, fine, whatever. Ah, Ash of New Class 7, yes? A good day to you. You're with the church, aren't you? You Schwarzer's old classmate that's working with the Growls Ritter now, right? Busy watching over the kids? By the Holy Mother, all of, your, all of you students did such a splendid job work preparing this classic festival. I thought it'd be a waste not to bring the children along. On top of that, this may be the last chance to play with these wonderful children. And last chance. Wait, are you planning to dip from Leafs too? Yes, my work here is done, so it seems I'm being transferred elsewhere. That's so. Well, you guys have all sorts of obligations, don't you? Kind of a shame though, these kids seem to really like you. But they'll all be moping around not getting, being able to see their favorite nun. Yes, it's not unlikely. I'll have to make sure to come by to visit whenever I can. I haven't actually told the children about this yet. I want to say goodbye to them all with a smile. And so I just want to keep going about, t about today with them all normally. Where'd Zack and Tom go? Jeez, those two. Seems they ran off somewhere again. Well, let's not worry about them and just enjoy ourselves. Okay, are you sure they'll be fine? 
Well, even if they're lost, I'm sure someone from their branch campus will help them out. They'll be alright. The book, the kind book lady recommended me a picture book. I'm gonna have Sister Rosine read it to me later. Public reading. I'm so nervous. Come on. You were the freaking announcer for, announcer for the Durflinger, weren't you? Reading some book in front of a few people is nothing. But talking to people through comms is way different than reading to a group face to face. And all the people I talked to in the Durflinger were our friends and teachers. How about you just ignore what the crowd wants and focus on having fu fun reading a nice book? I don't really know how I feel about doing that. But anyways, you shouldn't be worrying about this right now. As I said before, please just rest well knowing I have everything under the control and focus on your work for the executive committee. Do your best then. Seriously, don't worry about me. You've got I've got this under control. Put all put your all into your role as a member of the executive committee. And when it's time, I'll be waiting in the club room. Head out to find Frankie and Celestine. Hey, it's Frankie. How's the progress to being a receptionist going? Celestine, so you've come. Even if it was just for a few months before the war, I myself did some work at the branch campuses and was thus interested to see what sort of event they were hosting. Master Patrick was gracious enough to give me a short vacation, so I decided to do some sightseeing. Lucky you. I just now had the chance to give my regards to Master Reed and Madam Toa, but I'm glad to get to speak with you once more as well, Frankie. I'm glad that even since my departure, you've continued to serve as an excellent janitor. Word is that you've recently been tasked with taking care of the dormitories. It's true, though I'm still far from being half as effective as you are, Celestine. Yes, well, I wouldn't want to make it too easy for you to catch up to me. Although I've been curious, do you still have your eyes set on becoming a guild receptionist? Of course, my ultimate goal still hasn't changed, but... But what? Well, I've started to feel that this job has a great purpose as well, even if it's not my dream job. My guild seems in need of new help, so I definitely think I'll have a chance to sneak by my way in soon. But since the number of students at the branch campus will be increasing next year, for now I want to keep working and growing here. Or at least, that's how I've come to think of things recently. I see. In the brief time since we've last met, you've truly grown. Well then, please give me a call when you wish to apply for the guild again. I also have some advice for you in regards to that, and I'd like to give them to you myself if possible when the time comes. Celestine, thank you so much. Herman. Next arc, he'll be a guild receptionist. We'll see him. He'll, he'll have reached his goal. Wait. Ah, uh, no, that's not it. I'll find this. Excuse me, guys. Where do you think you're looking? Oh, near the hangar. Okay.
So this is the school she goes to. It's so lively. Aren't you Lenore's older old brother in arms? Oh, and you're the guy from New Class 7. You helped me back in Ordis, didn't you? Well, for today, I'm here serving as Hugo's personal guard. Though I actually just kind of wanted to meet Lenore, so I decided to tag along. And even though I'm here, it sounds like she's super busy working for some executive committee. And at least I managed to catch a glimpse of her. I'm glad she seems to be doing quite well. Lenora's always been good at taking care of everyone. Figured she'd be doing the same at school, but I'm glad to get check it out for myself. Now where's the tennis courts? Oh god. Okay, so what's the tennis club doing? An exhibition match between the club members followed by a tennis lesson. It seems not bad at all. Welcome everyone to our ex exhibition tennis match. Tennis as a sport is not only lots of fun, but it's also very healthy. Please, we have we hope that anyone who's interested will give it a try. If you're interested in giving a trial session and go, please come over to me to register. Seems pretty popular. On top of that, looks like the little tomboys family all came to watch. Hmm? Healthy, hmm? Yeah, I can hit I can see it's helped those figures shape right up. They're really moving all over the place with so much skin showing. And they've got some real lookers here too. Maybe if we hopped in on that trial session, we can enjoy some nice playtime ourselves. You feel me, bro? I think I'm picking up what you're putting down, bro. Guess it really was worth coming all this way. These freaking dudes. If they were just talking shit, I'd let it slide, but I can't let them go around groping the tomboy and her friends. Hey, you two. Hey, nice uniform, bro. I, uh... Are you sitting here? Did you overhear what we were just... You trying to pick a fight with us, bro? We haven't done shit yet. Hey, calm down. I wasn't really planning to do anything with you two. Seriously. Do I look like some hard-ass to you? Yeah, you don't exactly seem like a great guy. In fact, you seem like a bit of a troublemaker yourself, bro. Hey, I don't want to hear that from you two pieces of shit. Yeah, I definitely get where you guys are coming from, but as someone who would also like to take one of these lovely ladies to town, I've got some- <laughs> Oh, shit. Ash! Oh my god, stop, you said it! I've got some advice for you. Advice? The hell you're talking about, bro? Do you even remember where we are right now? Doors. I guess some military school? We kinda just kinda came around because we were bored. Yeah, exactly. It's a military academy. That is to say, even if these girls seem all cute and quiet, they're training to become soldiers. If it really came down to it, they'd be able to pick up arms and fight. You saw how hard they slammed that ball earlier, or how fast they can move. Now, let's imagine they slammed you into the ribs with the same force they swung that racket at. How exactly do you think that'd go? Hmm, how would it go? Well, they'd probably crack a few of them pretty easily. A few might even get completely crushed. Easily? It'll end there if you're lucky. Eh? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that some of them have some friends in pretty high places. We've got the daughter of a noble, a few with ties to some pretty shady groups. If any of their friends heard the shit you were just spewing, well, I'm kind of curious to see how exactly you'd end up. Honestly, it's hard to even imagine. Man, I've also really got to watch myself dealing with them. But hey, if you do still want to give it a go, I'll be cheering you on silently from the sidelines. Best of luck, my comrades. <sighs> There really are lots of fine young ladies around here, so as long as you're only half dead by the end of it, wouldn't it be worth a shot? No, I don't think it's worth it one bit. How about we just go back home for today, bro? Yeah, let's go, bro. Wasted my time for such a boring outcome. Maybe it may have been faster if I just pulled them aside and taught them a lesson myself. I've gotten way too soft. Jessica! We just planned for this to become a demonstration round, but we got all fired up and ended up feeling like a real match. I don't particularly mind though, I think it was a good advertisement for the club. My family won't stop staring at me. Can Anana keep trying to cheer me on, but now it just feels like I'm drawing unneeded attention. Keep up the hard work, champ. Yuna, do your best. Yuna, show him who's boss! We weren't able to meet up with Yuna during this month's public classes, but I'm very happy that I got to watch my little Yuna giving it her, her all in her studies. 
I can't wait to go back home and tell Matthew how wonderful our daughter is doing. Thanks to all of Yuna and Jessica's hard work, it looks like our trial session is going to be a massive success. Well, it's great that you're getting a lot of customers, but do you have a plan to actually handle them all? Yep, I've prepared plenty of rackets. We only have one cord, but we can rotate people out and have the others do some simple rallies while they wait. Would you care to join us, Ash? Sorry, busy with the executive stuff. That said, give me a shot if you run into any trouble. I'll rush right over and deal with it. Understood. Micah. Micah! Hi. So this is the Branch Campus Scholastic Festival. How is everything so well put together? Maybe soon we'll get to run into each other again. I'd be the luckiest girl alive. I've already searched every room inside the main school building, so all that's left is the clubhouse. I've almost got you. Why is my chest throbbing like this? Is it healthy for my heart to be pounding this much? What the? I guess she came to meet one of the Branch Campus students. Well, she seems to have an idea of where she wants to go next, so I should probably just leave her alone. Sorry, your princess is in another castle, Micah. It's so noisy out there. Tell me about it. We've got a swarm of people here for the Scholastic Festival. What a waste of time. They even tried to invite me to teach some ridiculous public class this morning. Naturally, I refused. Please see to it that no one else comes stomping around in here. I'll, it'll get in the way of my research. Now back outside and over to the campus's train platform. So this is what the Modern Music Club's got lined up. A pop-up stage performance. Sounds about right. Didn't they have asked us for permission to set up a stage here? Well, whatever. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is our first time our little groups played for such a large crowd. And it's because of that it's been our most fun performance yet. I, we put on a rocket show there, yeah? But don't think we're stopping there. That's right, it's time for one more song. She doesn't really tend to show much emotion, but she sure gets into things when she's up on a stage like that. Oh? Valerie? Yeah, she's much more palatable than she, w than she was when we first came here. Hey, you've gotten more palatable yourself. Well, I mean, easily acquired taste. Well, you're a bit of a strange pick, but you're still you. You should be perfect. What the hell are you- Anyways, looks like the performance is wrapping up. There's such a massive crowd here that it's going to be a hassle getting everyone out. So, mind lending me a hand giving these giving people directions? It's going to be a pain in the ass, but it's my job. We'll be performing again in an hour, so everyone please feel free to come and watch us again. We've still got a load of music we haven't shown you yet. And for the next one, we're going to crank up the heat even more. Not bad at all. Thanks again for handling the patrols, Ash. But does that mean you left poor Tatiana to handle the literature club all on her own? Well, the only thing we're doing that actually needs people at the ready is the public reading. Aside from that, she should be fine all on her own. She's usually all helpless and swirly-eyed, but when it comes down to it, she can get shit done. Seems you've two actually got some faith in each other. You should say that what you did just did to her sometime. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. Yeah, no way in Gehenna I'm saying something that embarrassing to her. It's not my job to make her happy. You really are a problem, child. When I'm up on stage playing my guitar and singing, my heart starts racing and I get all fired up. Then after I come back down, it feels really embarrassing. So you're still the easily embarrassed type after all this time? Well, I'll say this much. It all paid off for the people watching you guys perform. I guess it did. 
I want to keep playing music for everyone, but I don't want to draw too much attention. Maybe I could try wearing a mask next time. Pretty sure that's going to draw more attention. First off. My heart's racing almost as much as when it, as when we were on stage with Arkansas. Something feels different about his performance though. Well, of course. This time you three were the main event. Yeah, that's probably it. I was nervous, of course, but that felt like nothing compared to how thrilling it was. Thanks to that excitement, I was able to go all out on the drums. We've all practiced so much together that we were perfectly in sync. There's really no greater feeling. Now, Pablo. Blimey! Can I believe how hard we work in the... Our debut performance on the stage was even the Durflinger. Right, feels like I'm still dreaming. This was right a stolen stage to get to use. A rock festival on the Airborne Rail- Okay, I can't. We're Airborne Railroad? That's all to draw some eyes. I'm living the dream. Okay. Now let's head back inside the campus and go to the cafeteria. Cafeteria, cafeteria. I believe it was this building. Wrong way. Next up is the cooking club. A pop-up restaurant using the cafeteria's facilities it looks like. Sandy, three fluffy acerbic tomatoes omelets please. Got it, I'll have them done in a flash. Alright, and I just wrapped up a bunch of some nice creamy mashed potatoes. I'll grab them while it's all when it's all ready. Seems they're doing quite well for themselves. Well, those girls can probably cook better than any restaurant on this side of Zamoria, so I don't think I've got anything to worry about. If there's anything to worry about here, it'd be that guy. The latest form of my supreme dish. Our very own Friday special, Scholastic Festival Surprise. We apologize for the delay. I've gathered only the finest in-season ingredients for this special dish. I assure you what sits on the table before you is nothing short of a true delicacy. So who is running late? If the problem piles up, it could cause them a lot of trouble. I'll have to scold them later. This is the most wonderful thing I've ever tasted. The stimulating fragrance, this rich is deep as the oceans themselves, and that subtle tart aftertaste. This is the dish I've been searching my entire life for. Hearing your gracious words makes my whole mountain trek to gather the ingredients worthwhile. I can't express how grateful I am to have tasted your cooking. I'll call up all I'll call up all of my gourmet friends at once. They must know about this. And now even more weirdos are gonna come be coming over to try his dishes out. Well, I guess his being late paid off, so I'll let it slip. I just couldn't help myself. I ate so much that now it feels like my belly's gonna burst. But there's still so many things on the menu I haven't tried yet. No, no, you can't mint. You know your stomach can't handle any more of this. But if it's only one more dish, it'd help the students out if I gave them another sale. Alright, then it's decided. Time to order up. What will I get next? Oh, that dessert Freddy ma Freddy's making seems real interesting. I cannot fathom how this soup manages to contain a perfect balance of spice and tartness and bitterness. Surely, every last ingredient in this must have been freshly in season. I'm glad you've taken notice. In truth, to reduce the greasiness of the broth and bring it to the perfect texture, I felled a magical beast by my own hands and mixed its essence into the stew. I see. In doing so, you help to realize a much more complex flavor. Such wonderful, mysterious culinary arts. What a weird guy. I'm enthralled to have met a guest with whom I can discuss the wonders of such a cooking style. With guests like him, perhaps I could start ramping up the intensity of my dishes. Ooh. I don't know about that, Freddy. What? We still have some potatoes left, but we're almost out of tomatoes. And we're gonna need a beverage restock soon, too. Well, 
What, you guys didn't get enough ingredients? Oh, hey, Ash. Yeah, we have way more guests than we expected. We'll just be fine, though. I can call up Becky and she should be able to deliver us the goods. Good to hear. I'll be off then. Thanks for checking in on us, Ash. Jeez, I didn't expect us to have this many guests. It's a lot of work, but it's a good problem to have. Sandy! All I've got to do is let this simmer a bit longer and it'll be all set. While that's going, I might as well start on... Seems our little chef is moving full speed ahead in the kitchen. Gotta keep things moving. I'm really relieved we managed to get as many guests as we did. We're only this popular thanks to all the food you helped taste. <coughs> taste test for us, Ash. Well, I really just wanted some free food. But if it worked out, it worked out. Keep up the good work. Tita and I keep swapping who's in charge of the kitchen, so it's not too tough. And seeing all the guests enjoy the food so much just makes me want to work even harder. Swimming pool time! Alright, the swimming club's got a swimming class lined up, and Wayne's got a muscle development seminar. That's about the basics of it. Now, how about we head into the water and start practicing? I understand the lesson, but I'm no good at swimming, so I'm kind of nervous. Well, if you're still unsure of yourself, we can lend you a kickboard to use. This little girl's so cute. She is. She's like a tiny little doll. I just want to squeeze her. Thanks, little miss. I've been wondering why you're here helping out. Being a good girl and helping out your dear big brother. That's it. She must have come all the way here to help him out. How sweet. I'm supposed to be your classmate, but instead I'm getting treated like this. It's fine, Altina. I understand how mature you are. Hmm. Little Rabbit seems to be holding up well. Stark's there too, so she'll be just fine. And over there we've got... Rule number one of muscle training. It's important not to abuse your muscles from the start. You need to make sure you've got the load setting just right for your build. If you overburden yourself, you won't make progress efficiently. S slowly, you'll begin to increase your weight load. If you can make a training regimen that's suited to your own physique, then in no time flat, you too can have some real nice rippling muscles. Behold, what do you think of my own pride and joy? My glorious muscles. Yep, those sure are some muscles. Those muscles are all right. Some real muscular muscles. Muscles are be and beautiful strength. Those two are a holy duo that rises one. Some say that at the end of the day, you can only rely on yourself, but that's a lie. When it comes down to it, you can rely on two things, yourself and your muscles. There's nothing that tops having some good old muscles. Mister, I have a question. Ask away. I can answer anything and everything if it's about muscles. Do girls like dudes with big muscles? Well, I think. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I want to know too. Well, they say women love strong men, so if you got muscles, you'll be popular. Probably. Really? Guys, look over there. It's all so clear. So if I want to get popular with girls, muscles are my enemy. So, it would seem. Wait, no, it's not true. Don't go. Please believe in the power of the muscles. <laughs> I don't even. If I get buffed, then I guess I won't be popular. So basically, I should just avoid physical effort as much as possible. It's cool skinny dudes that are popular with girls these days. But hey, how exactly do I end up like that? Well then, can we go play with those girls in swimsuits over there? Console Wayne. <laughs> Poor Wayne. Oh yeah, my little sister Micah said she was coming to visit today. I wonder why I haven't seen her around yet. I told her I was doing my muscle development seminar at the pool. Has all of humanity lost faith in the power of muscles? I think there's something wrong with this guy. Muscles would never betray humanity, yet humanity is cruel enough to betray muscles. It pains my very soul. Just 
Ark, the lucky man. Thanks for handling the patrols, Ash. Yeah, we were originally supposed to have two community members patrolling at a time, with the other one getting to handle their club activity. But the activity for the literature club doesn't really need a bunch of people manning it, so I'm fine with this arrangement. I appreciate that, but when you have to go back to your club room, I'll take over the patrols for a bit. So when it's time for your club activities, just head on over. No need to even worry about calling me. I've got it covered. Got it, thanks, Stark. At least, it seems you're managing better than Wayne, than Wayne is. It seems he hasn't been exactly blessed with customers. I wasn't expecting to get mistaken for Stark's little sister like that. I know that I'm smaller than the average high school student, but I might continue to grow a tiny bit taller. Perhaps I'll even grow taller than Milliam, someday. George also told me the same thing, but my height will gradually increase, most likely. The school store. What do we got in the school store? We already sold out a bunch of supplies for the festival, and now we're getting normal customers coming in and buying. We're gonna rake in so much dough, the Scholastic Festival deal is real kinda kind to us. The, the, the Scholastic Festival, huh? Definitely reminds me of the main campus's Academy Festival. I was thinking the same. Didn't we have a little sales competition back then? Yes, that we did. It's almost a shame we've got such a good business partnership running now. Well, some mutual profit ain't bad either, huh? But if we were off to having another match, I wouldn't lose. I believe you're mistaken there. For now, I've stopped expanding my sales network, though I wanted to keep expanding it later. But before that, you need to hire some more employees for the shop. Maybe I'll post some flyers around to advertise the job. Recently, I've been collaborating with Becky's trade network even more than before. I can't say it's exactly raised my profits, but maybe during the war I acted too rationally and ran away too easily. That said, I have absolutely no intention of making any investments that'll be bad for my business. But for now, I'm just gonna ride bide my time and start rebuilding Kleist Company. Now, for chess. If I remember where it is. Pretty sure it's in this building, isn't it? Let me double check. Chess club, here we go. Next for the day is chess club. An improv match between the branch and main campus students, it seems. Checkmate. Hmm. I thought I had you cornered, but you really turned things around on me. You're truly talented. You're quite skilled yourself, Fritz. Your intense onslaught in the middle of the game gave me chills. If Machius had never taught me everything he knew about chess, then I never would have survived that. First quarter win for the branch campus, just as he should. And this is checkmate. How'd I lose again? It's been almost a year since I joined chess club and I still lost? Damn, I'm so freaking lame. No, on the contrary, I'm rather quite impressed with how much you've grown this past year. I didn't expect you'd be able to make it this far. If we'd held this match a year ago, I would have been finished much quicker. Do you, do you really mean that? Kurt said something similar, but I honestly just thought he was being nice. I'm really happy to hear that. Alright, after the tournament, tournament, would you be willing to meet me again for another match? Perhaps if I have some free time, I'll consider it. Let's go! You're not doing too bad yourself, Sydney. Don't get too carried away, and you may be able to pull it off. Anyway, seems like we're problem free around here.
Since last losing to Kurt, I've trained hard to improve, but it seems he's made just as much progress. Next year, the club activities at the main campus will finally resume. And when that time comes, I fully intend to rejoice the chess, rejoin the chess club and train until I reach Kurt's level. Even against the more skilled opponent, Kurt's fighting back relentlessly. Truly impressive. After coming this far, he must really want to win the tournament. Fritz put up a good fight, but in the end, it seems I managed to snag victory. At any rate, I hadn't expected us to have so many talented entrants into the tournament. I don't know how far I can make it, but as the one who put everything together, I need to give it my all and make it as far as I can. I actually managed to get her to promise to meet up again after the tournament. I'm so epic. Maybe after we play some chess, we can go around and do some other stuff too. Maybe go to some shops, get dinner. It's fine if I treat this like a date, right? Right? Don't get your hopes up, Sydney. Sydney, I don't think that's the response the guy that just lost the tournament is supposed to be giving. I've done it, Ash. I may have lost the match, but I'm winning at life. This isn't a dream, isn't a dream man. We're all gonna make it. Calm down a little bit there, bud. So this whole Scholastic Festival thing, since our school is currently undergoing a number of reforms, we elected not to hold our Academy Festival this year. I'm a tad jealous that you guys get to have one. Oh yes, I thought I should mention that due to reorganization of our own student council, I'll be the main campus' student council president starting next year. I hope that the main campus and the branch campus will do more joint activities from here on out. I look forward to working with you more in the future. Key Club Ceremony Joseph? Oh my sweet Maya, you've become so beautiful. Wearing that kimono, you're the spitting image of your mother in her youth. Maya, your father is so... I'm so... Ah, uh, so this is the dad of hers that Maya said returned to the military. Seems a lot happened between them, guess he can't really show his face around her now. And last up for now is the tea ceremony club with their tea room and tea ceremony trial. Sounds fitting enough. Hey, why is Rex just toning his camera around up here? Yo, you're the little punk grins in charge of, yeah? Having fun with the Scholastic Festival? And you're as hyper as ever. The hell are you doing up here? We had a guest who wanted to commemorate a photos taken, and Rex here was gracious enough to offer to take and sell them. Their guests like the idea, and now we've got a little photo shoot corner all set up. There's obviously a lot of guests who want to get pictures taken with all the cute, get all the fine students of the tea ceremony. And now the customers get to take pictures with our lovely Muse and Maya to their heart's content. Though we've had far more female guests than men, so Kyrie's actually the member getting photographed the most. Have all, they all fuss over that damn cute face of his? Ugh, it's so frustrating. Hey, I've got some pretty mixed feelings about this as well. Why worry about it? If it makes the guests happy, then you should just keep it up, champ. I guess, but for my own sake, I... As, the, as a man of the Empire, this is but one more barrier I must get over. Oh god. Took the line from Lloyd's book. Well then, looks like I've wrapped up their first round of patrols. Guess I should be get heading back to the literature club room. Seems a lot of girls who've come to check out our club today are from Saint Estrella. It would seem I'm not the only one from that academy who is interested in coming to Thor's. I'm glad to see them all going around the Scholastic Festival with such innocent, curious eyes. Man, I sure raked in a good haul today. So many pictures of cute girls. Normally, when I walk up to a cute girl and go like, Hey, can I take a picture of you? She gives me a weird look and turns me down. But today was a bit different. I knew I was right to come to do some journalism at this classic festival. I was supposed to get some good material for the paper, but Vivi's here working too, so it should be fine. There are too many cute girls here. I can't waste a chance to get pictures of every last one of them. Most people in the Empire still don't know very much about the East culture in general, much less tea ceremonies. I hope we can use this Scholastic Festival as a chance to show people tea ceremonies great appeal. If we can use this as a chance to score some more club members for next year, that'd also be great success. Though perhaps I'm starting to ask for too much. 
Seriously, that man outside knows he shouldn't be here, right? And Sydney really needs to stop shouting. I, you can hear him all the way across the hall. Maybe I should just try and clear my head. I just keep getting girl after girl asking to take a photo with me. I'm so tired. It's like I've just become some mascot instead of an actual member of the club. Today, I even tried to seem as manly as possible and practice really hard to really nail every aspect of the tea ceremony. When did things end up like this? Well, as you said before, Ash, so as long as the customers are happy, then that's what matters. As a man of the Empire, I can't waste my breath on such pointless complaints. Back to the club. Just like Principal Aurelius said, there are a bunch of prospective students today. Well, the first wave of students was nothing but a bunch of problem children and other garbage. Garbage is going a bit far, isn't it? But I'm really happy. It looks like we'll be getting a bunch of new students next year. Yeah, next year. And I'm sure the Little Shirt Club will just be filled with new members. Yeah, probably. But I'm a bit nervous. I don't know if I'll actually be a good role model for them. Well, I think you're up to it. Really? If you're able to convince them to join the club, I'm sure you can be a good leader for them when they are when they're actually in the club. I hope so. I'll try my hardest. You club members. Perfect then. I don't have to worry about you getting all bored on your own. Ash? What do you? Alright, looks like it's about time for the public reading. Let's grab some books and go down to the library. Looks like we managed to survive. It's relieving that all the guests seem to be really enjoying it too. So it turned out just fine, and you actually managed to make it through the whole thing without freaking out. I'm impressed. That was only because we were together. I'm also a member of the club for now, aren't I? If I didn't do my part and help out, then I'd never hear the end of it from Schwarzer. I don't quite think that's it. You've also been working hard with your duties as an executive committee member, haven't you? Anyways, I was just wondering, um, weren't you, uh, saying something before the public reading start? Alright, well, I'm gonna go get back to my patrols. I'll leave the rest to you, so make sure to wrap things up nice and neatly. Uh, okay. You can leave the literature club to me. Awesome. Later. Man. There's still a bit of time left before this classic festival ends. I'd better go do another round around the school. Hey, Ash. Thank you once more for your hard work. What are you guys doing all grouped up here? What, you kids all decided to slack off together, pushing all your work onto someone else? Now that you've joined us, we're all here. Yes, a rather fortunate coincidence. Coincidence? Yes, we were looking for a good place to rest for a bit during our breaks. And well, we all just happened to find the same place. It's weird that we all came here without even telling each other. That's great and all, but I'm not exactly on a break right now. Don't fret us over, over something like that and come join us. This chance meeting is another example of the bonds of Class 7, isn't it? Yeah, we all just happened to meet up like this, so surely you can take a tiny bit to chat with us. I'm sure it's fine. There's still plenty of time remaining in the festival. Fine then. I'll join you for a bit. What are we talking about? How shit of a job Schwarzer's doing? Why do you always... Arash is being as dishonest as ever. Personally, I'd be fine talking about how much we love our dear instructor. And you're way too honest about everything. You two can really be a nuisance. Don't count yourself out. 
I guess I can't exclude myself, but Instructor Rin's really gathered a clunch gathered a class of oddballs. Sure has. Though I always get the feeling that Kurt causes the least trouble for Instructor Rin. Now that you mention it, you're probably right. Yeah. Who's a good little role model who's a good little model student? I mean, I think it should be normal to not cause problems for your teacher. Besides, when we first started school, I was way too focused on our respective houses and social standings. I was way too cocky. All of us, myself included, have been a handful for the instructor, so let's all apologize to him later, alright? Eh? What? Getting off putting yourself in chores or shoes? Kurt is almost as popular as instructor Reen, isn't he? Even today, he had a bunch of fangirls come over to give him a visit. And then, Kurt's a womanizer in the making. Don't put it like that. I guess it's more... I looked up Instructor Reen as a role model. Looks like Schwarz has ruined this one too. Well, no one's here... No one here is quite yet perfect, but... I'm happy so long as five of us are around. Yes, I think we all complement each other's strength and flaws. We're certainly a well-balanced group in more ways than one. Together, the five of us have grown under Instructor Rin's care and overcome many trials, so it's only natural. If even one of us were missing, I don't think any of that would be possible. Well, I'm not too sure about that. I'm sure it would do just fine even if we were down to one or two people. Why do you always keep saying things like that? That's just how he is. So this is what they mean by Sundere. Hey, I don't want to hear that, especially from you. Anyways, I've got to get back to my patrols. Oh, Ash, wait a second. What's up? I know you were just joking earlier, but there's no need to be so tense around us. Just because you're fine with doing it doesn't mean you technically you have to actually take everything on by yourself. Always watching out for me, huh? Well, don't poke into matters that aren't your concern. Alright, then I'm off for real now. Don't slack off too much, kids. Ugh, that guy. We're just trying to look out for him. Oh, more talking! Holy god! You know, I said it's fine if you guys didn't come today. It probably took a ton of time just getting here, didn't it? Well, if you just think of it as a mini family vacation, then it's no problem at all. It's such a shame your father was too busy with work to come along. Big sis, big sis, you were so cool in that game earlier. That ball went flying, that was crazy. I really went in with my special training. You think I could do that too? Probably. If you start training hard, I'm sure you can, Ken. You guys are staying at an inn and leaves tonight, yeah? If you all want to- if you all wait for the festival to end, I can guide you around town later. But after having an after party with other students and faculty, so I may be a bit, tiny bit late. We won't mind one bit. Just make sure you and your friends enjoy the party. By the way, big sis, that swing you did earlier, wasn't it based on the Ashen Chevaliers? Oh, you could call it like the Ashen Chevalier shot or something. No, I didn't really mean to. Yo, that's epic. I'm gonna try it out too then. I think we, I can still sign up for a trial with Louise, right? Dandy. Well, well, Randolph, aren't you lucky? What, think you're allowed to just slack off in a place like this? I'm not driving, dragging my name through the mud. I'm just taking a little rest. On top of that, we aren't really supposed to be doing much for the afternoon portion. It's all on you kids and your clubs. Besides, the rest of the instructors are all working real hard right now, so I can just take things easy, yeah? So, what you're saying is you think you're allowed to slack off? Or is it something else? What, you think it'd look lame to admit you've lost- you're, you're just lost in omniscience? Well, it could be something like that. 
I'm sorry, Ash. I wanted to stick around to see everything, see everyone graduate. You really aren't acting like yourself. You're going back to your real home in Crossbell, aren't you? Shouldn't she be thrilled? It'll be a bit of a pain in the ass, but we'll only be down one person. We can manage. No matter how much you grow, that dirty mouth of yours never goes away. You're not completely wrong, though. I'm gonna miss this place. But it's not like I have anything in particular that I'm worried about. Every student here has become pretty reliable, and Rita and Toa are still gonna be here. Not so. They were thinking the same thing. If it's all of them, they'll be able to g keep getting on just fine. J you know, I've been thinking this for a while, but you and me, we're actually pretty similar, aren't we? Huh? Why the hell are you saying something so creepy all of a sudden? No, I'm being serious here. We've had a lot happen to us in the past, but we always both tried to cover it up. We both just act laid back and carefree and pretend everything would be fine if we just held it all in. Well, that's how we were in the past, but now we've got places to call home, people to rely on. Both of us do. Relying on those just a bit isn't acting childish or spoiled. Relying on your friends and letting them rely on you in turn, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Well, I've never really intended to act like a loner. Besides, I already get all that without having you say it to me. Well, then, I guess we're all set. Both of us has friends we can rely on, but for some reason I'm still so attached to the branch campus, and it's soon it's gonna be time to say goodbye. I think I want to stay out here for a bit while just enjoying the breeze. Stork! What are you doing here, Stark? Ash, do you have a moment? We're going to have to guide all of the guests off campus after this classic festival, so I was thinking we should prep in advance. Yeah, I guess we've got more people here now than we did at the, even at the start, don't we? Alright, you'll be here. Lorenora will be in the main building and I'll be in the courtyard. It'd be good to it up to guide everyone. It should be fine if we stagger the times. Sounds good. It'll work if we can all coordinate. In that case, I'll go call up the station and tell them around the time where they should expect the waves of people. Not a bad idea. I'll leave that to you. Seriously, I'm so fortunate to get so much help from you and Lenora. Our classmates entrusted us with this role, so I'll, let's give it our all until the end. East Ceremony Club. Oh, wrong building. Hold on a second. Wait, correct building. Yeah, no! Uh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to find this dialogue again. Damn it, Reen. Giving Ash the classic Reen speech, aren't you? It's such a shame if we had just a bit more time, we could have gotten Kyrie a kimono. It's so unfortunate that I didn't come in, came, come in on time. Kyrie in a kimono, huh? What kind? Well, a woman's kimono, of course. That's about what I expected. Next year, I'll definitely have Kyrie in a kimono. Please look forward to it. <laughs> okay. Interesting. My opponent's certainly more skilled than I am, but there's still a chance that I can turn things around. I'm not going to give up until the end. Uh, Tina, is Wayne still here? Are you still pouting, Wayne? Oh, poor Wayne. After all this time, he's still by himself. I 
I'm so glad that Lenora's come back to help. Trying to run the swimming club with just myself and Wayne was rather intense. All right, time to for me to check out my own club's activities. I've got to make up for all the hard work Wayne and Al have been putting in without me. Major Michael in his office. <laughs> uh, okay. second instructor's room here it is carbide has there been some sort of incident now nah, I'm just doing my regular reports this classic festival is still running smoothly all the clubs are doing well got it I appreciate your hard work please take care of the rest well you seem pretty busy in here Yes, well, I have a number of former ledgers related to the Scholastic Festival, not to mention all the documents that I need to be prepared for the end of the school year. I'm also still trying to work out who's got to transfer all my responsibilities to. Oh well, yeah, words have been going around that you're leaving doors next year too. Yes, currently the RMP is dangerously understaffed. I'd actually been called back immediately after the war, but given how close we are to the end of the year, they let me stay here just a bit longer. Currently, I'm planning to pass this sort of work over to Miss Herschel. I'm positive they'll find a great replacement for me though, so you students don't need to worry about anything. I mean, I wasn't really worried anyway. Really? I myself was actually rather worried about my parting with the school. But yes, the more I think on it, the more I realize my fears are misplaced. The growth you students have exhibited this year has been profound. Just one year ago, you were probably the biggest problem child on this entire campus, but now you've become one of the most reliable of the bunch. I mean, I don't want to become any moral student or teacher's pet. Your first impression of me was probably a lot closer to the truth. No matter how I think of yourself, you've become someone that others can rely on, and someone that I can personally count on. That's just undeniable reality. So with that in mind, please continue performing your duties for the executive committee with vigor until the end. I get it, I get it. By the way, it seems General Aurelia actually does plan to stay at the branch campus as the principal. I don't really know if that woman ever intends to return to active service. Regardless, I have no doubts that Thor's branch campus will continue to develop wonderfully. And make sure you act as a perfect model or of diligence for your underclassmen, Carbide. I'm not really sure if that sort of thing's example I can set. I think it's fine for you to set an example even as you are. I do think the fact that our branch campus has so many people to look up to who are so different from our principal is a rather unique selling point. Ash, still on patrol? Yeah, I guess. And you doing an equipment checkup? Yeah, just a quick one. More importantly, I'm sorry for not being able to help in any of the management today. I was busy dealing with all the VIPs. Why are you apologizing to me for that? Besides, this part of this classic festival is supposed to be all about the students, ain't it? You're right on that. This reminds me of back when I was a student. I had to do all sorts of things for the academy festival. Yeah, I heard all about that from Crow before. It sounds like there's some sort of precious commemorative photo of it floating around somewhere. He didn't ha tell, have to tell you about that. Uh, Crow needs to stop running around doing as he pleases. So you're gonna show it to me? I will not. Jeez. Anyways, I was talking about how I was a student council member in my second year. Yeah, someone mentioned that, that to me before. I can definitely see it. Really? All the work for the student council was really tough. But I got a lot of help from the students, especially Reen, so in the end, I was able to pull through. Chorzer was also on the student council. No, he wasn't. But he was always ready to do any sort of task that shoved in his mailbox. 
And, and on top of that, he wouldn't even just go around finding some extra people to help out. So, he hasn't changed a bit since he was a student. Guess he hasn't. We had a lot of obligations and tough jobs to get done. Despite all that though, it was a ton of fun. Well, that's good, I guess. Looks like we got too wrapped up in a conversation. I've got to get back to work. I'm counting on you to keep working hard until the end, Ash. Well, I'll see what I can do. Student council work sure was tough, but everyone gave me a lot of help and by the end I made a ton of, ton of irreplaceable memories. So please, give the executive committee everything you've got. I wonder how the other events are doing. Guess I could go find a good place to hang out. Hey Ash, uh, well well, if things are doing this well here, then I guess I've got to head back to my patrols. I'll leave the rest to you, later. Oh, here we go. Ash, still doing your patrols for the executive committee? Just as it looks. How is everything? It seems the literature club at least was a resounding success. Well, I've left all that up to Tatiana. I mean, you showed up for public reading, didn't you? You did pretty well. You weren't listening in on it, were you? Well, I just happened to be passing by the library, and then my feet just happened to stop. You've got some pretty shitty hobbies, you know that? I'm sorry, Ash. As a teacher, I just want to see what my students were up to. Is that it? Well, that's what you always do, looking out for me even when, you, when I don't need you to. I bet you were spending all day running around trying to find people who you could just help as you please. I mean, you're not wrong, but... But you couldn't find any? That's pretty much what I figured. Make my job for the executive committee easier, so I'm not complaining. Regardless, as an instructor, I need to make sure I don't do too much and may end up getting in your way. Yeah, I'd appreciate it if you didn't get in my way, though I'm sure there's someone you can help. Seriously, I don't need you always taking care of me. Ash. I'm never going to stop my meddling. That's just my nature. I'm not exempting you from that. If anything ever happens, just call for me. Your annoying homeroom teacher will come running over to help. And that's what I'm talking about when I say getting in my way. Alright, seems like it's just about time to wrap things up. I guess I'll go and cast my votes. Are we almost done yet? <laughs> Which club had the best events? Well, I probably shouldn't vote for myself, so I'll choose one of the other clubs. I don't know what's what. Tennis club, swimming club, modern music, tea ceremony, chess club, cooking, leave. I pick... Uh, which one do I want? Doesn't really matter, so I'm gonna pick. Let's see, one or two. Yeah, I just read that. Uh. I'll just go with the tennis club. Doesn't really matter. Kind of half assed the comment, but well, that should be fine. Is it almost over? And so the Thor's Branch Campus Classic Festival came to a close. The visitors, all smiling with satisfaction, left the campus. Afterwards, Principal Aurelia once again called the students to the school training ground for an assembly. We received outstanding reception for both this morning's public classes and this afternoon's club events. Truly a stunning display of all you've learned and grown into your first year. One could say that this was a glorious display to the world of how much the branch campus has evolved. Originally, I was planning to give a much longer and laborious speech, but I can see that all of you are already flushed with from fatigue. 
Rather, I should say I was expecting you to be exhausted from all your hard work. So, let us move on. It is time for the main event. The main event? All the guests already went home. That's probably just the vote on which club did the best. I don't really think that it's a big deal, though. And now we shall announce the results of the election for Thor's Branch Campus's first student council. What? A student council election? Yep, it's time for everyone's favorite mechanic Mint to take the reins. Tell it tallied all the votes, it's now time for me to announce the results. First up is Class 9, a reliable and talented young man from military finance who can take on any problem that comes his way. Stark. Next up is Class 8, a vigorous young lady from combat tactics who'll bust through anything in her way, but who's also got a caring sisterly side. Lenora. And finally, the candidate for Class 7, Special Operations. He seems like a no good punk, but he's actually quite reliable. The one no one expected to rely on, but that we all know now count on. Ash Carbide. What? What? What a ma- <laughs> that, that freaking expression from Ash is freaking glorious. Need to go back and look at that. What a memorable first election, fitting for the Thor's branch campus. As we all know, one member from each class was promised as proposed as a candidate for the student council presidential election. Wait, what the hell is this, Schwarzer? What's going on here? Well, as it was established, the members of the executive committee would be candidates for student council president. You all campaigned by showing your ability to manage and cooperate with others during the Scholastic Festival. What? That's the first time hearing any of this. Wait a minute. Musei, I told you to tell Ash everything, didn't I? You did, but if I told him everything up front, then he would have just dropped out. If he'd known he was the candidate for student council president, he would have intentionally shirked all of his duties. You little bitch. Was this also- <laughs> Oh god, was this also some big conspiracy? Please calm down, Ash. Musei definitely should, shouldn't have tricked you, but we all decided together that you're the best candidate for student council president. Are all of you bastards batshit insane? Do you think there's any way in Gehenna I belong on a student council? It should be the little green saddest if anyone. A little model student over here would have been a way better pick. Or even the wild tomboy. Even the little rabbit would have been... Well, maybe not her. <laughs> oh, Tina. I'm so sorry. That's a rather rude way to put it. Though, I also think I don't belong in the student council. I have simply no interest in it. And I'm busy managing all my work as a duke. But none of that matters. Wouldn't you agree it's better to plan these within the shadows instead of out in the open? You really think I could do it? If I'm honest, I'm barely keeping up just falling behind everyone else. I hardly think that I'm ready to start guiding others as a role model quite yet. Yeah, and I'm really no good with management and paperwork. You need the type to always live in the moment and put things together on the spot. So basically, out of everyone in class 7, you're by far the best pick for student council president. Though of course, we didn't just get there by process of elimination. We also judged your own merits and decided we should recommend you. Eh. Regardless, it's much too late to change our candidate. Well, it seems I didn't verify well enough that you had the will for it, but... I believe beyond doubt that you can be the student council president. Bastard, stop messing around. Instructor Toa, please. Yes, Mint, if you would. Leave it to me. Alright, alright. The results that everyone's been waiting for. It seems that one ballot's been marked as invalid. One vote for the tea ceremony club saying, the tea wasn't bad. I guess I agree. Anyways, this vote doesn't count. Too bad. So this is what that stupid box is for. Now to announce the actual results. So, in third place with four votes, Lenora. Well... <laughs> I don't really mind. Thanks to the four of you that gave me your vote. And in second place, with five votes, Stark. Well, I was ready to take on the job, so I'm a tiny bit disappointed. That's fine. I'm satisfied with these results. So with them as second and third place, that means 
Well, the result should be obvious, but I'm going to announce it anyways. First place, with 10 votes, receiving twice the votes of any other candidate, I present to you Thor's Branch Campus's first student council president, Class 7's very own Ash Carbide. Congratulations! Congrats, Ash! What a splendid result! I believe this is what they'd call a perfect outcome. Yes, I knew you could do it, Ash. I can't believe this. What? So you're the student council president now? Ha! Huh, give me a break. You don't actually plan to accept, do you? Now, don't go pitting yourself over your own self- over your own sense of attachment, Ash Carbide. I get it. I don't plan to take the job. Thank Idios. What? You of all people trying to lead others? You're so pathetic you can't even win against me. I just said I get it. You can't be with anyone, you can't help anyone, you can't do anything. I won't allow it. Yeah, just thinking about those dumbasses that voted for you. They've got to be screwed up in the head. It's ridiculous. Laughable. How could anyone buy that? Come on, Ash Carbide. Come on, laugh. Shout about it. About this whole damn farce. About your own worthlessness. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut the hell up. So you decided to show up, Schwarzer. Why'd you go to the trouble of calling me out here, into a place like this? Is everything alright? Is there something you want to discuss? Well, something like that. Though it's less of a discussion and more of an announcement. Well, in that case, you better get on with it. You and the others want to get to the after, after party as soon as they can. After all you did to help today, we can't get the party started without you. An after party, huh? I guess it'll be better if we call it a farewell party. Forzer, I wanted to let you know I'm going to drop out of the branch campus, right? So you knew. I'm your homeroom teacher, Ash. We've been through enough together. I can tell pretty easily when something's bothering you. You really are a gross dude to- <laughs> You really are a gross dude to deal with. Are you still trying to get over what happened with Emperor Eugent? His Highness has already made a full recovery. He's completely fine. On top of that, he himself has already forgiven you and granted you a full pardon. I'm aware. But I couldn't care less what he has to say about it. No matter- What matters is that I haven't forgiven myself. So that's how you see it. Yeah, it is. That's all I have to say. I'll see you around, Chorzer. Ash. Even if you say that, I'll still want you to stay. Why in the world? Well, I'd wanted to stop you... Well, I'd wanted to stop you by coming up with the reason that was more fitting coming from your instructor, but... Look, I know that you've thought long and hard about the conclusion you've searched. So instead, I'm just gonna say it to you straight. I don't need a proper reason. I want you to stay. Not just as my student, but as my close friend who I've overcome so much with. The hell is that? Come on, you're acting as crazy as ever. On top of that, Kurt and all your other classmates' graduation will become much a sadder event without you here without you there alongside them. It's the opposite of your student experience. The one that leaves early is gonna be on his own, instead of the one that stays. Really though, I don't think anyone would really notice if I was gone. What? Come on, Ash. There's no way you could possibly mean that for real. If you actually do, then you're really short-sighted. You can't even see what's right in front of you. Hmm? What? Hey! Yep, just as Instructor Reen said. You're really acting strange. God damn it, not again. Were you eavesdropping? Well, you we were just passing by. Naturally, we noticed Instructor over here. I think I get the gist of the circumstances. So it was as bad as I thought. Ash, circumstances have changed from what they were before. Everyone would absolutely notice. But you bastards knew from the start. It wasn't just us. Oh. 
you too. Do you really want to leave Thors? Yes, I do. Now you can just read all you want without anyone there to frighten you. Ain't that just great? That... That would be terrible! I know I said at first that you scared me a bit, but... You always get all serious and upright when you're reading something. And... And sometimes you'd recommend me something really, really good. Whenever I have a problem, you always go out of your way to help me. And also... Well, usually when we have nothing else to do, we'll just sit there next to each other reading without saying anything. I guess. But that's fine. The literature club rooms become a place where I really feel at home. And that's because you're there. I want to be in the same club as you, Ash. I want to keep doing everything we always have with you, Ash. Forever. How daring. Well, I don't know if I wanted to say quite the same thing, but... I get that you've really thought over what you're planning to do here. But, we want to graduate with you. And if our plans and your plans have to duke it out for us to do that, then we won't lose. So do you really think that you can just drop out that easily? Creed. I think it's fair to say that right now, your view is dangerously narrow. In today's sold out expo, I was negligent and suddenly found myself falling behind and losing. It would be shameful of you to just win like that and then run away. It'd also be rather inconvenient for me if you left. If you weren't here, then I'd be the only one causing problems for our dear instructor. I'm not exactly a fan of that line of thinking, but... Honestly, I wouldn't be particularly bothered if you left. Um, Altina? However, that if I didn't get to graduate with you, I'd feel, I believe, lonely. I cer I'm certain of that much. It's not just a bunch of us that are here. You're a crucial part of the life of everyone at the branch campus. If nothing else, shouldn't today's selection results have proven that? Yo, Ash, what are you doing hanging right up there? You three haven't left yet, either. Yeah, we were just heading back now. Oi, Ash, we'll also be at tonight's after party, alright? We got you something to congratulate you, so I hope you're looking forward to it. Anyways, we'll all be counting on you from here on out, Prez. These guys. Sydney. Well, at least their timing couldn't have been more perfect. I really couldn't. You can all say that, but that doesn't change. Would you mind if I gave you gave my two Mira? Principal, I didn't know you were still here. Well, there was just something I'd forgotten to do, but before I attend to that... Ash Carbide, I hope you don't intend to graduate if you hold such weak conviction. Oh. Our campus, despite being a military school, managed to make it through the Great War without losing a single person. So, do you think that I, as principal, will allow us to suddenly lose a student as a disgraceful dropout? Looks like the principal's pulling out all the stops. With her around, I doubt anyone's gonna, going to be able to drop out so easily. Yeah. However, if you really wish to do so, I could give you a graduation assignment. What sort of assignment? Display to me how much you've grown as a branch campus student in the span of but a single year. Do not run and hide from the name of Thors, the school founded by the royal family. Carry that name proudly with you. Isn't it your obligation to do as much for his majesty? Yes, just as she says. It's a logical task to assign him. That all said, I believe that the results of today's election will grant you a perfect opportunity to do just that. Damn it all. I just don't get you. I don't get any of you. Well, first, don't you need to figure yourself out? Are you going to run away with your tail between your legs, or are you going to keep moving forward? The choice is yours. Jeez, that's an unfair way to put it. I've been completely cornered, and now you're putting me up to a challenge like that? In a situation like this, how the hell can I even think about running away? So if you mean that, then... Look, you saying that isn't what's keeping me, ti keeping me tied down here. It'd just be a pain in the ass to leave stuff I've got to do unfinished. Wouldn't feel right. So fine, I'll take on that damn assignment of yours and blow your expectations out of the water. And I'll use you guys and the new students and anyone else I need up until graduation to get the job done. That's one way to put it. Seriously, you just can't be honest with yourself. 
This is just our ashes. I'll take it. Yes, I will as well. I'm once again looking rather forward to next year. Excellent. Ah, yes. And there was one thing that I forgot to tell none other than Mr. Carbide himself. As president, you have the power to nominate the other officers of your of the student council. <laughs> I eagerly await your selection, M President Carbide. Muse is like, chuckles, I'm in danger. I suppose it's the true inauguration of the Thor's Branch Campus Student Council. Then, please, have me handle finances for the Student Council, please. I want to help you however I can, Ash, even if it's just a tiny bit. Tatiana's already been helping with finances for the entire Branch Campus, hasn't she? I don't believe there's any more suitable pick. With that out of the way, the preparations for the after party are complete, aren't they? I'll be heading back to the dormitories. Wait just a damn second, you green sadist. Think you can run away that easily yourself? Oh, is that what this looks like? It's obvious. It seems that somehow we had no need to be worried. So it would seem. Jeez, we really had to keep watching out for that kid to the end. So in the end, you couldn't escape. Yeah, it wasn't the cool thing to do, but I ended up clinging on. Do you really get it? The curse is gone, Ash. I know. But you're not a result of the curse. You're just me, born from my own sins. So you've moved on? What then? Is it time for me to leave? No, it's not. You can't disappear. You'll probably be with me for the rest of my life. <laughs> But, I'm going to keep moving forward, even if I have to get down in the mud and crawl my way ahead. And I'm going to make you watch it all. So that's your plan. I'm fine with that. Then go ahead. Show it to me. Shove my nose in it. Show me the future that you've chosen for yourself, Ash Carbide. Two days later. Thor's Branch Campus, first student council. I see Muse's name there. Stark, Ash, Muse. Accountant Tatiana, Secretary Stark, Club Supervisor Lenora, Vice President Muse, President Ash. Approved by Principal Aurelia Le Guin. Congratulations, Muse. You played yourself. That was nice. That was really nice. It was very wholesome at the end. You know, now that <laughs> Ash is student council president, I kind of like envision him acting similar to like how Lecter was at Genis Royal Academy, just hanging out, like pretending not to be like act like a student council president, but actually behind the scenes he does stuff. That's how I kind of envision him as a student council president.